Just when you thought 2024 couldn't get any crazier, we've got Terrence Bud Crawford and Teofimo the Takeover Lopez going at it. And not in the ring, but in public. Yeah, you heard that right. Terrence Crawford just threw hands, and it wasn't in a sanctioned fight. Bud is not the type of guy to be involved in brawls like this. But hey, Teofimo got on his nerves. It got pretty heated and didn't end well for Teofimo Lopez. There's a lot to discuss with this one. So without further ado, let's take a deep dive into this action. Okay, before we get into the details of this heated altercation, let's set the scene real quick. We all know Terence Crawford, one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters of this generation. The man's undefeated, coming off a historic win against Errol Spence Jr. and solidifying his place as the king of the welterweights. After a time off the ring, Crawford came back and swiped the floor with Israel Madrimov. So if there's a number one guy in boxing, it's Terence Bud Crawford. I felt great. It was, it was no different from 147, to be honest. Uh, Israel just was a strong uh, opponent. You know, we knew that coming in the day. The right hand wasn't bothering me. You know, I wasn't really too much worried about the right hand. You know, he, he landed a couple of times at the end of the round where, where he was trying to steal it around. But uh, I just was trying to uh, counter, counter him, but at the same time, he had a good game plan. He had a lot of feints, and I was just trying to dictate when he was going to come. A lot of times I was wrong. I was touching him up with the jab. I think my jab was beating him up. Uh, uh, all through the fight, but you know, he, he landed a couple of uh, right hands that was telling for the, the judges to go or the fans, but it wasn't nothing that I ain't never seen before. And then we've got Teofimo Lopez. I mean, this guy dethroned Vasily Lomachenko, the man most people considered untouchable. Lopez didn't just win, he dominated Loma in those early rounds. And let's be real, people still don't give him enough credit for that performance. Even though he hit a rough patch losing to George Cambosos, Teofimo bounced back strong at 140, showing that he's still very much in his prime and ready for war. June 5th, all these 135 pound, pound guys in my division, they, they're quiet. They don't want to fight Teofimo again because what he just did. And then I'm just going to keep putting it on each and every time. But we're going to make those fights happen too. Whether you love him or hate him, Teo knows how to keep his name buzzing. And this latest incident might just be the craziest yet. So let's break this down. It all took place at the main event of Canelo Alvarez versus Edgar Berlanga. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Hey, they just told us to go to the What's up, my nigga? How you feeling, champ? Dude, you big, man. Hey, I'm getting there. I need to be with you. <laughs> yeah, that was just us. There's four of us. I'm with the commission, and I'm trying to get the Huh? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, bud, what Tio said? How are you, man? Good to see you. Really good. Both guys came to show support, but things went sideways real quick. Apparently, it started with a heated exchange of words between the two. Eyewitnesses say Teofimo was throwing shade, talking about how Crawford wouldn't stand a chance if they were to fight right now. Now Bud's usually a chill dude, but Teo must have hit a nerve. However, it all went out the window when Teo made an inappropriate comment about Crawford's family. One thing led to another, and bam! Crawford just snapped. He reportedly threw a punch at Teofimo, catching him off guard. If it weren't for the security, there Teo would be taking one long trip to the hospital. The place went nuts. Social media exploded with people posting videos, speculating what sparked the fight. Like, was it really just trash talk? Or is there some deeper beef between these two? Let's break it down. We know Teofimo's not shy about calling people out. He's been beefing with everyone from Haney to Ryan Garcia, but going after Crawford? That's a whole different level, and a whole different weight class too. Maybe he's trying to get under Bud's skin for some clout, 
or maybe he genuinely believes he could take him on. Who knows? The blood between Teo and Crawford could not get any colder. Teo said, if Terence agrees to fight, it's gonna be the dumbest decision of his life cause Teo's gonna make him pay. But hey, we saw who made who pay. When both guys crossed paths, we need these two in the ring next. But here's the catch. This fight doesn't make sense on paper. Teofimo has to go up to the 154 division to face the best fighter we know. First of all, putting all the weight is gonna make you slow. Your punches won't be the same. Your stamina won't be the same. And then you put that guy up against Terence Crawford? This fight only goes one way. Terence Crawford annihilating Teofimo Lopez. But if Lopez somehow manages to pull this off by some miracle, it will be the biggest upset in boxing history. He's been calling out Crawford for a while now, so the guy knows what he's doing and what he's up against. 147 sounds pleasing to me. 154 with Crawford sounds good to me. You know, we'll see. You know, it's not that much names. Uh, we got a new division now, new faces in my division. So, you know, we'll see what happens next. We'll so, see who wants to come up to this uh, to this side and really face greatness. So Crawford, uh, you said Crawford Canelo, they, they shut that down? Yes. Uh, this Saturday? Mm -hmm. uh, would you like to face Crawford next? You think? Uh, yes, I would. I would like to face Crawford next. Yes, I believe so, and I'll go up to 154. Of course, the weight class difference is huge. Crawford's dominating at welterweight and Teofimo's lightweight, but crazier things have happened. We've seen fighters move up or down just to settle beef. Could Teo bulk up? Could Bud cut down? Man, the possibilities are endless. From a business standpoint, this could be a promoter's dream. Imagine the pay-per-view numbers if these two actually stepped into the ring after all this drama. It's got money fight written all over it. But then again, it could all just fizzle out as a publicity stunt. Only time will tell. Now for Crawford. This kind of reaction is rare. He's usually so composed. But here's the thing. When you're at the top like Bud, everyone's gunning for you, and the pressure can be intense. Maybe Teo's jabber got a little too personal, or maybe Bud's just tired of the disrespect. Either way, it's a wild look for both fighters. Crawford's trainer also took a few digs at Teo that left a lot of fans stunned. Teofimo Lopez was here tonight. He says that that would be his dream matchup to go ahead and fight Terrence, he says he's willing to even move up to 154. What are your thoughts? He trash. Fuck the Fimo. No, because he talked too much shit. He used to be a humble kid. He used to be a humble kid. Now let's talk about the not-so-fun stuff. The legal side. We're talking assault charges, fines, and potential legal battles. Throwing a punch outside the ring isn't just bad for your rep. It can get you into serious trouble. Teofimo's team could press charges or Crawford could face sanctions from the Boxing Commission. This could get messy real quick. But let's be real. Tio is not gonna press charges. He's the type of guy who would want to handle this on his own. The best way to do it is to call Crawford out for a pro bout. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.